Hello, creative designers, and welcome on today's story. My name is Peter. I want to this story. We're just going to see how we can be able to remove this called a uh, coupon field in either of the pages, whether you are on the card page or whether you're on the uh, checkout page. I'm just going to show you how you're gonna uh, you're gonna be able to remove this, and I'm also going to show you how you can be able to remove it without using any uh, any single. Uh, any single line of code or any other plugin i'm just going to show you how but when you just want to move it from one single page whether on cut page or uh, on checkout page i'm going to show you and I'm, I'm going to provide uh, the code on how you can just be able to implement on that how the, how will it go how is it going to work this is how it's going to work i'll provide the, the coupon code i'll go i'll provide the snippet and all you just have to do is add the coupon code whenever just like we want to just uh, disable the uh, the coupon field on the cut page you just need to toggle this button on and just when you just come to the cut page you refresh and you find the coupon field and you find the coupon field has just disappeared if you just want to also remove on the checkout page what you just need to do is toggle this button on and you just remove it on the cut page that's the tutorial for today i hope you learned something out of this tutorial and if you're new here consider subscribing if you do like the tutorials, hit the thumbs up. Without further ado, let's just get into action and I'll show you how. So the first thing we just need to do, we need to get the, the dashboard. And on the dashboard menu, hover now where we have the plugin or on hover, select add new. We need to add a plugin that we just facilitate on us uh, to add the code. So the uh, code is called code snippet. Plugin is called code snippet. Here we have it. It's called code snippet from code snippet pro. You can see more than 600,000, uh, more than 600,000 active installation. So I install the plugin. After successful installation, we need to activate the plugin. After successful now installation of the plugin on the dashboard now on the dashboard menu now we have this button for the snippet offer on it if you just want to see all the snippets that are included in your website or those snippets that you have added uh, in your website you just need to select all snippet if you want to add new important has so many other features you can also check out so these are just the demo that just come in uh, just came in with the plugin so what you just need to do is we select a new because we need to add some few snippet. But before you proceed to that point, there is a way you can just add without even installing the plugin. So you just hover on WooCommerce. Yeah, select setting. On the setting now we have the general. Scroll now to here we have now enable coupons. If you don't want to have it on both pages, whether it's on card page or the coupon code, just untick this one. First of all, before we proceed, let me just add just a single product here. And I also add another one here. So I view on cut and I also view on checkout here. So you find now we have it on the card page. This is the card page. And on the checkout, you find now we have this button here. So what you just need to do is uh, we just back to the setting here and remember i have disabled i have unticked enable coupons and i save the changes now let's refresh here on the cut page and you see what the impact of it now we see we don't have the coupon and also it just disappear even on the checkout page but most of people who will, uh, will just want to disable it be on one page or the other page so what you just need to do is just get the back to the woocommerce setting and i enable the coupons and I save the changes. Then from there, I need to add the snippet. So now, uh, now what just need to do, just go to the dashboard now where we have now the snippet and select a new. We just add the one new we want. So the first one is just going to uh, remove. Uh, just remember to just always offer a name that will be memorable uh, to you. So I just remove like that and now here now is where we're going to add our code here so i just come here i have already the code so the first one is for removing the cut page so i just copy the code here then i come and i paste it here once you paste it remember to enable it to learn everywhere and save the changes with that now we can refresh on the cut page here you see we don't have it but when you just come to the checkout and refresh on the checkout we should have it on the checkout page you see now we have it on the checkout page so the other thing if you just if the other thing is now how to remove it on 
the checkout page so i just need to do some few things in there so and uh, i just give it a name so i i name it to the checkout page checkout page like that and the other thing is i just have the code here so i just need to copy the code and i just add it add the, my snippet here so this one is for the checkout page and i save and activate like that so what you just need now to do is I just select all snippet i just toggle off this one for the cut i just toggle it off and i just refresh for the cut page here you see we have now the coupon field here but when you just come to the checkout page you don't have the coupon field here that's how you can be able to do it just so simple with just few simple steps the other one i've just pro provided to you through the tutorial if you need the code use the link on the description you get the code uh, it will just direct you on how you can get the code until next time thank you